There is no real art to green smoothie prep, but it bears worth in visiting for those of you who are new to green smoothie recipes. So today, I'm going to cover how to prepare green smoothies so you spend less time making and more time enjoying every beverage. Welcome to the Home Workout Plan with Dale L. Roberts. And if you want to learn more about how to exercise and eat on the cheap from the comforts of your home, then subscribe to this channel and turn the notifications on to get all my latest videos. I'd love to hear about your favorite green smoothies or what kind of questions you have about green smoothie recipes. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. I have a few little tidbits that help me get the most from every time I prepare my green smoothie recipes. And here they are in no order of importance. Tip number one, always thoroughly wash your vegetables and fruit unless you purchase a product that is pre-packaged and washed and verified as such. I think it goes without saying that you want your food as free of pesticides, chemicals, dirt, and debris as possible. Simply put your produce directly under running water. Scrub the produce with your hands or use a produce-specific scrub brush. Gently wash the green leafy vegetables so you keep them somewhat intact for preparation. Tip number two, Chop your produce to fit your blender. You obviously don't want to mince all your food, merely chop it up so your blender can handle it. The less pieces of food handled between the cutting board and blender, the better. Only cut the produce down enough to fit so there's less to manage. Tip number three, remove the fiber stalks from kale. These parts taste bitter and tend to sour the flavor of a smoothie. Don't worry, removing the stalks doesn't diminish the nutritional quality much. However, if you are a frugal chef, Feel free to mix the stocks in. The taste is stronger with the stocks, but not entirely horrible. Tip number four, when you can, freeze any bananas and berries ahead of time. I'll pick up a bundle of bananas, peel them, chop them into smaller pieces, and then put them into a container to store in the freezer. The bananas keep somewhat fresh in the freezer for 24 hours. Avoid keeping bananas in the freezer for any longer than one day. Otherwise, you'll end up with blocks of ice that cannot puree very well. If you make that mistake, don't sweat it. You can simply set the bananas out a few minutes before you make your green smoothie. Tip number five, try to buy fresh berries and immediately freeze them. When I'm feeling lazy or need them frozen quick, I get my berries in the freezer section at the grocery store. Just check the nutrition facts and ingredients on the frozen fruits packaging. Some frozen fruits have additives to keep it fresh or maintain the sweetness. I prefer the frozen fruits with no additives. Tip number six, prepare ice cubes ahead. These help thicken the consistency of the smoothie, so it is more like a milkshake than juice. When the smoothie is a bit thin, add a couple ice cubes and puree away for half a minute longer. But if you have your fruits frozen ahead of time, you may not need ice cubes after all. Tip number seven, read your blender manual ahead to find out how much and for how long you can blend. Hey. I've used and abused my blender, but I try to follow their suggestions closely so I'm not breaking my appliance. A quality blender can get the job done in under a minute. Anything above that is just too long to me. After all, you're supposed to be enjoying the green smoothie and not toiling away at making it. Tip number eight. Some green smoothies make for the perfect dessert when prepped right. If you have quite a few of the ingredients frozen ahead, then the consistency will be like ice cream. Mm. Sometimes when I'm craving a pint of ice cream, I put more frozen bananas into a green smoothie recipe. It's like making your own ice cream without all the processed sugar and dairy. With all these tips in mind, it's time for you to make a tasty green smoothie. Visit my past videos on my favorite green smoothie recipes featured in my book, The Best Green Smoothies for Weight Loss. Hey, if you like this video and love to learn more about how to exercise and eat on the cheap from the comforts of your home, then subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get notifications about all my latest videos. Till later, I'm going to get my green smoothies grub on. For the home workout plan, I'm Dale L. Roberts, and I'll catch you guys soon.